Hi guys, my name is Mead. This is going to be a review for Kotetsu Samurai War Machine, part of the movie realization line. And uh, quite interesting since uh, they're kind of diverging uh, from the Star Wars uh, series and now going to the Marvel. Uh, I've already reviewed Arman, now we have War Machine. I do have Captain America, I will review that eventually. <laughs> so here we go. I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I believe it's still readily available. And with more War Machine, we have a lot of weaponry or artillery. See those turrets right there? Huge cannon. More stuff on the forearms. Quite nice. And got that awesome looking uh, samurai mask. And the armor. And I guess the nipples are back. <laughs> on the back here, we got a little bit more... Uh, pictures different poses uh, we'll give that a shot the name of the figure both sides got that Tomashi Nation stickers right there and there we go let's do a quick unboxing here inside you got the name and here we go here's the loadout so uh, one for each uh, I guess shoulder um, like we see in the photos and I'm actually kind of interest or, or wondering what do you call the cannon you know, from animes I watch, uh, they keep saying Kurogane, and I think that's translated to iron. Maybe I'll I'll use that the Kurogane right here. But then again, I'm not sure what to call the turrets here. We got a katana here, uh, two s extra set of uh, hands. One, two. I guess this is both for to hold the katana right here. I have to look closely. It's possible that the left uh, the left hand is just to hold the sheet. Yeah, then you have two open hands and the backpack right here. So there we go. And let's take it up. Alright, so here we go. Now the color scheme does remind me of Gundam Mark II. There was a Master Grade uh, and that's actually a really interesting uh, floral uh, decal that you can pull, uh, put on it. Now I think it has similar color scheme, kind of have like the copper and purple. Or, well not quite purple, more of like a bluish color. Um, yeah, <laughs> bluish purple, and it's actually quite nice. It takes a little while to get used to the color, but it is different, and I kind of like it. Kind of works with uh, the weaponry, the you know, the wooden uh, cannon and other things. All right, so here we go. Uh, very nice, great details, and I'm sure some people don't like the nipples, but you know what. I kind of like it. Uh, it kind of goes with, you know, just having a, you know, part of the body. Very nice. Uh, I really like the paint app on this. Really cool. All right, so uh, let's go with the details and articulation. We got the neck protector here. Fairly good articulation. Uh, most likely, you can probably do a head swap with other figures, which is great uh, with this particular line. You got your shoulder articulation here. You can move, you got a little bit of movement back and forth. Move around, then you're just going to have to readjust the shoulder. You can go as high as that. Let's see. This thing is on a ball joint socket, as you can see there. Then uh, you have a swivel point right there on the shoulder. I think mine is stuck, but there is a swivel point right there. Let's see if it works on the right side. You got, I got a little bit there, <laughs> but it is there. Uh, elbow articulation, uh, it's double jointed, although that elbow is a little flat, but yeah, you get a little bit over 90 degrees, which is not too bad. Now his uh, cannons or shotgun, they're uh, positioned uh, on the bottom part of the forearm, which kind of makes sense because they are heavy and uh, you kind of just want to have it sling underneath as opposed to be on top of your forearm. And uh, as uh, most of the movie realization there is a working flint uh, or this uh, uh, what do you call this it's the match or to kind of ignite the which is cool and same thing on the other side 
you have the same working mechanism there. But uh, in reality, I'm just kind of curious how he's going to be able to reload that. <laughs> because it's one of those, you, sh you shoot and you hide and reload. Yeah, but it's nice. Alright, so I think that is molded in uh, to the forearm. There's, looks like there's a peg here. Right there. Hmm. So yeah, I'm kind of curious. Oh, there we go. I popped one off. Uh, so another thing, I guess, uh, be careful as you move this around. There is a tendency to pop them off. Moving down here, well, yeah. Aside from the wrist that we can interchange, you got your waist swivel. There is no abdomen because of the armor, which I'm totally fine with that. I would rather have the aesthetic than have the articulation, because sometimes there's a nasty undercut on the in the ab area or under the ribs. It just doesn't look good. And I'd rather just have a full armor like this. Then you also have this really nice uh, yellow gem here. Quite great. Then you got this knife here that is affixed. You got the pouches here, which might be all oh, the peg. It goes on the back. It's uh, you got a little bit of flexibility here. Then you got your katana. You know you can take this out. Nice details. Even the handle, uh, nicely. Uh, what do you call that? Sculpted with a paint. Just some really nice uh, details there. All right, so you can uh, readjust that. Moving down, you got your hips. Now I'm kind of curious how come they don't uh, adopt the same articulation as the figure arts where that thing is filled. Though that might have probably take more materials or some sort, but... And then again, you're not going to be looking underneath. But the joint actually works for the recent figure arts. I like it. So moving up, down, you got your double jointed knee also, but it, it, it is a bit limited. And I think I'm kind of forcing it that. <laughs> but there you go. As we can see from the back here. I think, huh, oops. Is there a swivel point here? No, but there is a tie swivel on top. Yeah, so a little bit. Then you get your ankle articulation, which is great, and a little bit of a toe joint. Yeah. So overall, articulation is there. Uh, it is a bit stiff since, uh, yeah, it's movie realization, kind of like your SIC. That's kind of how it is. Now I'm kind of curious if they are ever going to make an actual uh, Chagokin, because SIC, super imaginative Chagokin uh, for the Kamen Rider, they have male parts. Now, so far, all the movie realization, from what I can tell, are just plastic. So, maybe in the future, we'll have one that has die-cast parts on it. It'll be interesting. We'll be see oh, actually, it will be nice to see uh, an Anakin with, <laughs> with bionic arms. That is die-cast. Alright, so that's that. Let's take a look at the armaments. First off, they actually call this uh, the shotgun. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, we have seven. And likewise, we have a moving uh, flint. We got the ball joint right there. Then you have the cannon here. Kurugade! <laughs> really amazing sculpt. I like the color. Got kind of like a. What do you call that? like a hammered finish or like a casted uh, yeah, I think it's more like a casted iron finish on top um, it is a bit hollow but uh, you can probably put an effect part there if you yeah, I mean there's no effect parts on this particular figure set but you can probably sculpt something out or make something joint here for a bit of articulation but yeah even the little uh, you know rivets there really nice um, details I like it then we have the backpack here and for those yeah familiar with the samurai yeah damn you kind of have like the ribbon so it's kind of like thing that goes on the back Iron Man has the same thing so uh, they have this instead 
again that nice detail uh, there is a bit of a wash with the brown here kind of gives it a little bit of a rustic look that the uh, iron there's really no moving parts other than that joint here yeah, I don't think this does anything then we can mount the shotgun here on to the right or his right there we go just pops in and this one obviously you can interchange them depending on your ah. oh okay so that kind of gives us a little bit of uh yeah if you want to extend it up that's a cool gimmick then goes on the back here now i would say be careful as you put this uh peg connection in the back yeah <clears throat> it's one of those it's there's a half of it and uh, if you're f familiar with that bolt joint so just be careful as you push it in if it's not going in take your time don't kind of rush so do do a little bit of wiggle back and forth and that's good enough for this yeah i think it'll hold and there we go um there's really no uh, anchor point there's no peg hole for a tamashi stage other than that part of the connection in the back so you might have to use the arm all right so there we go can we adjust this no i think that's just it's a little too high but uh i guess when you have an aerial pose it'll be all right so there you go you can adjust this the cannon yeah very <laughs> For for the uh, what do you call formidable looking, yep. It's like a tank. All right. Um, other than that, you have this particular hands here, the open hands. Nice details, and two a pair of twill the katana, and I guess they're about the same style. So either one works. Alright, let's go swap it for this demonstration. I just gotta pop this wrist joint. There we go. So even the wrist joint is colored. That like brownish color. Pop that in. There we go. And now we're just gonna grab the sword. Oops. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, okay, that's what it's for. Okay. All right, I guess you can remove it. Good to know. Yeah, I was trying to push this down, and as you can see, the handle was pushing it out of the way. So you couldn't remove that. Huh, so this one too, I guess. Ah, well, good to know. I wonder if we can interchange them. Seems like you can. Let's see now. I'm curious. So interchanging them, it, it basically goes on top now. Ah. See, I kind of like that. There we go. I don't have to be always in the bottom. You get me on top. I discovered something cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'll probably switch it back. But uh, there you go. Really nice. I like it. Now let's take a look. Uh, War Machine with Iron Man. Oh, I forgot something. Alright, so if ever you want to flip this around, you can. It's that straight peg. Let's uh, just flip it around. I know it's, it's kind of weird, but this allows you to put the cannons under the arm. There we go. Why? Good question, but if ever you just want to try it, you can. It's actually not, not bad of a look. Especially, you have the kind of on the waist. <laughs> I actually like this because you see the details on the backpack here. Yeah, I like this. You know what, even then, I've, I'm probably going to swap the forearm cannons. I think it's a better look just having on the underarm. 
And if you have two of this, you can have two of those massive cannons or two of the shotguns. I think that'd be cool. So, a lot of possibilities. Alright, here we go with Iron Man. And again, I'm not gonna lie, that looks great, having that backpack inverted. Because <laughs> it kind of looks like a steam stack now, and they're powered by steam. Which is the predominant uh, energy source way back then. So, I think I'll go with this look. Really nice, I'm just having this set. And unfortunately, there's not much with uh, Iron Man compared to War Machine. But, you know, that's how it is in the uh, comic or the show. Our Iron Man has a, a bit more compact or... Well, he does have a, a bit different armaments than War Machine where everything on War Machine is kind of shown right away already. So, there we go. In comparison with the back, War Machine is a lot bigger. It is painted a little differently too. Yep. Actually, the whole thing is uh, different. The bolts. Even the... Kind of like the... Well, it's supposed to be thrusters or veneers. But yeah, totally different. I like it. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the review for War Machine. And I hope you guys like it. Again, I'll do Captain America. And I just want to say that, uh, you know, I appreciate uh, people's uh, <laughs> patience uh, with my reviews. I know I've been kind of doing just one review a week. And uh, it's just, you know, sometimes you just get burned out. I uh, need a little break and that's what I'm doing. I've been doing other hobbies. Getting, yeah, uh, aside from the spinners that you're, you probably know already if you're following my channel. You know, I got myself into beglary and recently on tops. Actually, I just want to share a really cool top that I got recently. And that's this one right here. This is quite gorgeous. Not even sure how the maker created this. <laughs> but it is quite nice and it has that uh, little stone on the stem and actually when you're spinning this kind of looks like uh, like an infinity stone which is kind of cool anyways uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff to get uh, to have fun with but uh, I will still continue figure reviews as I really enjoy collecting them and there you go Again, got my from Tatsu Hobby. If you got questions, concerns, well, not so much for concerns. Eh. <laughs> Let me know in the, uh, in the comments down below. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.